Mouse Santi by David Eugene Ray, illustrated by Santiago Germano. Once there was a little mouse named Santi, whose only desire was to be a cat. Every day Santi practiced being a cat. He would practice strutting across the floor, swishing his tail. He would practice taking cat baths. He would practice his meows all day and all night. He would practice ignoring everyone. He would pretend he was bored. All the other mice laughed at Santi. But he didn't care. He knew he would be a fine cat someday. From his little mousy hole, Santi would watch all the cats on the farm and wish he could be with them. He wanted to be drinking the cream the farmer gave them after he milked the cows. He wished he could be with them taking naps in the summer sun. He wanted to be with them chasing bugs in the tall grass in the green fields. He wished he could be in the lap of the farmer's wife and have her scratch behind his ears. One day, Santi decided he was ready. Today was the day he was going to become a cat. But he was afraid. What if the cats laughed at him too? What would he do? And he noticed one of the cats, a big, beautiful orange cat, sitting in the grass by himself. Santi thought, this would be his chance to become a cat. He would make friends with this cat, who would then introduce him to all the other cats. So the little mouse, even though he was very scared, used his very best kitty strut to approach the orange cat. When he got there, he sat down and started taking a bath, pretending to ignore the orange cat. And the orange cat ignored him. This is good, thought Santi. He thinks I'm a cat. So the little mouse continued taking his bath and continued to pretend to ignore the orange cat. Santi was happy. After a while, he couldn't stand it any longer. He had to talk to the cat. He looked at his big orange friend and asked, do you think I make a good cat? The orange cat looked at Santi and said, How would I know? I'm a dog. The cat scratched behind his ear with his back leg, and then he walked away. The end.